Hello everyone, good afternoon, or good morning, or good evening. My name is Dr. Vidan Satisteyan. And if you're coming live, or this is your first time uh, visiting my channel, well, let me tell you a little bit of myself. I am in the health and, health and fitness niche. I love helping people lose weight. In fact, I'm wearing my Insanity shirt. <laughs> I lost uh, 238 pounds, and, and I love it. I love helping people lose weight. But at the same time, I'm a very successful blogger, and I have a, a great following and a lot of success, and so, a lot of people have been asking me for help as to what exactly they can do to get a successful blog going. And so if you're shopping around, if you're looking for blogging tips, and I recognize that blogging is misspelled because that's one of the reasons as well that people uh, tend to mess up <laughs> as one of the reasons. So I did that on purpose. And so tonight, uh, tonight or today or whatever time you're watching this, I'm actually sitting relaxing at home. And uh, I decided to make this quick little video to give you a few blogging tips as to what exactly you can do to have some success. Um, I, it's unfortunate. I have seen a lot of people, a lot of my friends, colleagues in general, they set up this amazing, this, they spend thousands of dollars spending on creating this insane and beautiful websites. However, you know, it's, uh, it's like crickets. No one finds them. They're not getting the traffic that they want or they deserve. And so what I'm trying to do, it's sort to of give you a good sort of um, tips that I use to help me uh, get the traffic and help me uh, succeed, uh, have some success in my blog. I can't even talk today. I'm exhausted. But anyway, um, before I go on, on vacation, because I'm actually leaving to the tropical islands of Puerto Rico, uh, this, is, this is where I was born and raised, so I'm super, super excited. And so before I go, I wanted to um, make this quick little video for you. So. Number one, a blog, when you write a blog, you need to understand that a blog is an extension of you. This is how people are going to understand who you are and how you're going to educate them. So the best way to start is just think of it as, you know, in 500 words or more, what exactly is your message? Um, and Google, as well as uh, after the search engines, they love, love, love content. And so... The thing that you have to do is when you create a blog is that the more you write, as long as it has value, because that's a key, then uh, you have a lot of success on your blog. So the second thing is your blog has to have value, always, always. And what I mean by value is uh, it needs to engage people, it needs to and educate people, and it needs to have, and it needs to uh, make, the, make the person or the target or, your, or the niche or or the environment that you're trying to speak to um, come back to you. Um, because honestly, that's what makes people want to come back and learn more from you. That's what makes people buy from you. That's what makes people follow you and, and, um, and you know, be part of the process. So when you write those 500 words, make sure that you have them well structured, that you're going to provide some education, whatever it is, you, if you're going to sell something, that it has to has value as to how exactly it's going to help um, the people. Uh, in general, your audience. Um, this is funny because this is one of my colleagues. Oh, he says that you know everything in life you have to make it interesting and sexy, and <laughs> and I agree with him in, to the extent of that. If I'm going to your, if I'm going to read something from you, um, the average sort of um, attention of a user in general is a matter of seconds. So if you don't have something captivated, captivating in the first few sentences of your blog, you're done. Forget it. I mean, they're going to leave. And so you have to make them interesting. So when the second, the first couple of sentences that you write, they have to be interesting. They have to be sexy. So what I mean by that is, you know, it has to be captivating. It has to make me want to stay there. It has to make me want to say, okay, I'm buying or I'm going to follow this guy because he has something great to say. So don't forget that. Make it interesting and sexy. All right. A lot of things that I see is that a lot of my bodies and buddies, I feel horrible because they never had a call to action. And a call to, a call to action is simply this. If you're reading my blog, right, and I create an emotion or you learn something and at the end, you go, wow, I want to know more about this guy. I want to buy what he, you know, what he has to offer. Or I want to know more about you. If you don't tell your reader exactly what you want him to do or how to find you or how to create um, or how to you know, purchase or what have you, then you lost it. You know, if you don't have a way for that reader to contact you, you, you're done. Might as well don't write at all. I mean, the purpose why we write blogs is to make sure our audience are finding us 
and at the same time understanding and at the same time you know for you to tell them what to do that's what we block right so that is super super and super important so don't ever forget that guys like you need to have a call to action all right so now the next part that you need to have which i really really like you know your message has to be current like this right here it needs to be current i mean it needs to be like powerful it needs to be I mean, insane. And what I mean by that is current, um, it has to be to the, to the extent of the news. If you're gonna blog about something, blog about something that matters, that is up today. If you're writing about something that happened in the past, then make sure you relate it to today. And why? Because people are tired of reading so much crap on the web. And honestly, I'm gonna use that word for lack of a better term. There's so much spam. There's so much stuff out there that it's just try to be unique. On that sense try to be current try to be original try to be today you know speak in 2013 levels and provide new information as much as you can uh, but, okay so now number six is very interesting because a lot of people tend to go through this problem a lot which is they don't even know what to blog about so my advice to you is this you know I always tell people to do the following grab a grab a phone just like this you know like a regular iPhone or whatever something like this right and then there's always a feature on your phone where you could easily sort of set it up to record, right? And record yourself talking about anything that you like, about your business, about your opportunity, about, you know, whatever it is that you enjoy that you want to teach people about. And then what you can do is listen to that recording and then you can write some ideas afterwards, right? When, I, when I'm working out, sometimes I have that recording going because if I have some ideas when I'm working out, I just want to shut them out you know shout out loud so that I can record and go back to them later so that way that's a good alternative because a lot of people when they sit down sometimes in the front of the computer they freeze it happens to me all the time so what I like to do is when I'm walking when I'm seeing things that I enjoy that I like I automatically you know put on my phone hit it on record and I start talking non-stop and if you have an iPhone you can easily download a free application to record it and you set to go all right as an easy fix Number seven is a lot of people don't know how to set up a blog, and that is a biggie. You can do a lot of free stuff out there. You can Google and do free stuff, but however, I want to save you time, money, and resources because it's it. I did that. I went that way, and it was a nightmare. And then I purchased my own hosting and went through that process, and it was a nightmare again. And let me explain to you because the thing is, what I want to offer is a product, right? I wanted to offer a product that helps people lose weight, that get healthy, and and uh, and at the same time, you know, makes money for me, right? Because I love helping people lose weight. But the problem was is because there is it's a specific market. Um, there is a lot of competition out there, and so it was very difficult for me to have people find me for me to create a sense of that. Oh, okay. Um, you know, he wants to help me lose weight, but there's so many people doing the same thing out there. So how how are you going to be unique? And I'll explain what that means in a little bit. And so that was one of the problems that I was seeing that I didn't know how to set up a blog. And at the same time, when I did, I was having the following troubles. Okay. And let me explain to you. The trouble number one was ranking. And ranking, what I mean by that is, okay, you write your blog and you send it. And then you're hoping that Google will, will pick it up and then rank you. Meaning give you authority and say, you are the expert. You are awesome. I am going to put you on the top 10 because people around the world needs to know exactly what you're saying, right? Makes sense, absolutely. However, uh, it doesn't happen that way because if you're a brand new blogger, guess what? There's people out there who has more authority than you. There's people out there that perhaps are writing just the same things you are writing and so you have to um, be very unique and you have to sort of uh, figure out a way that you can rank and at the same time, um, be relevant and so when you have a lot of competition is incredibly difficult but don't worry I want to show you an easy way to fix that problem the second problem is that is that that linking which that means in an easy in an easy way is that people believing and supporting what you're saying so basically for example you write a blog you create it and then you have to you have to submit that blog into other areas on, into other authority sites, into other blogs maybe, and through Facebook, social media, and all these places so that it gets meat and credibility 
to your blog. That's the best way to describe it. It gets power and strength to your blog. So in, in, in other words, it's saying, I know this guy, he's good, so you know, I, I back him up. That's basically what, what it is. And so that linking could be incredibly time consuming. It could be super, super expensive. And, and at the same time, it was for me until I figured out a new alternative that I don't even have to do it that much, okay? The other problem was that I just mentioned before was the ability for people to find me or find you. If you write something and you think it's the best thing since white bread or beans or burritos or chicken or whatever you like, whatever you're into, ice cream, what have you, it's, it, believe me when I tell you, it is horrible that you create something so good and then no one sees it. It's, well, it blows my mind every single time. And it happens a lot with the people that I, with the people that I that I coach prior to me helping them out. So I uh, honestly, you know, you know, telling you here that it's it's detrimental to see that. So you can go with the free stuff and spend you know hundreds of hours trying to figure it out, which you know more power to you if you can do that. Me, I took a shortcut because I, I have a need to help people. I have a need to make an extra income, and I have a need to change lives. You know, like I told you at the beginning, I was 400 and something pounds, so I needed to lose the weight right away. So this is the system that, that I use, you know, blogtoday.org. I went in, I saw that presentation, and then I bought it. Uh, and the great thing about the system is this, it's like, think of it like a, like a, like a university for bloggers, right? It teaches you how to blog correctly. It, it automatically sets a blog for you. The authority sign has so much power that I've been able to write things, and within three weeks, I'm within three weeks, I'm already ranking on Google and Yahoo, and uh, all the all the other search engines. I don't have to worry much about that linking because I, because the the sign has so much power itself that um, you know you don't have to worry about it literally. And at the same time, if you don't know anything about Alexa ranking, uh, Alexa ranking in the past she used to hate me. And now, and now she loves me because Alexa ranking, what she does, which is kind of mean if you ask me, she, she decides and determines which, uh, which of the sites has more power and which of the sites I consider important. And so the number one site in the world, I believe, is either Facebook or Google, you know, in those two. And this site, it's about, I believe it's like a 100 in the U.S. and about 300 or 400 around the world. So that means anything that we write, it's important is incredibly relevant. And so you, people will find you right away, which is sweet. And going back to the expression, it is interesting, it is interesting and sexy. <laughs> but in reality, guys, that's exactly what, uh, what it did for me. And so, you know, if you are there thinking about starting a blog or, you know, uh, you're thinking about, you know, blogging tip or what have you, uh, another thing too is don't misspell things. <laughs> But you know, if you're thinking about honestly creating a blog, creating a sense of that, you know, you you have a message, you have a product, you want to, you have a product you want to sell, or even you just want to blog because you love it, you want to share, you know, things with your family, and or you know, or you just want to educate, whatever that reason may be, um, you know, go with a system that is actually going to give you authority, that's going to give you ranking, and it's going to make help you meet your goals. Like save yourself the trouble and save yourself the time because honestly it is incredibly frustrating to spend hundreds of hours designing and creating something and no one finds it and no one recognizes it so if you like shortcuts like I do because actually not shortcut it's more if you have a sense of urgency meaning that you want results right away and you want to help people or you want to make money or you want to provide good content or create information or maybe use this as a, you know your personal business whatever those reasons apply to you or basically you just want to have fun then take a look at this blogtoday.org is going to save you time and money and resources etc so with that said i um, want to wish you the best and uh, i actually need to go back to packing i'm leaving off to the caribbean puerto rico Woohoo! i'm excited my name is Dr. Iran Santisteban, so I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this, and uh, we'll be in touch. Take care. Bye.